United States is no longer the only place in the world for educated immigrants, and that includes some of the best young minds coming out of America's own universities. U.S. universities still attract many of the world's most promising students in science and technology. But more than ever, the U.S. is facing competition to keep them, especially from India, China, Korea, and Japan. Wei Jianchua is from Taiwan. In the field of immunology, she's one of the world's best and brightest. Wei Jian would like to stay in the U.S. after getting her Ph.D., but she could take her American education and her research just about anywhere. And she might just have to. If I cannot find a job to secure my visa status, I will have to leave the country. We don't want to suggest that there isn't always going to be a place for people who have extraordinary talent and ability. If we don't get them, somebody else will. We should compete for the world's best and the brightest. But a lot of people coming in under these four-year degree H-1B programs do not possess skills that aren't substitutes for available American talent. Former Homeland Security Secretary Michael Chertoff oversaw immigration during George W. Bush's second term. And one of the myths I think you see uh, that's out there is a job that's held by a foreign-born uh, scientist is a job that has been taken away from, from an American. But often it's the creation of three or four more jobs for Americans <clears throat> because some of the brightest people in Silicon Valley and in other parts of the world were born elsewhere. You know to stay in this country, Wei Jen needs an H-1B specialty occupation visa. It's a complicated and expensive process, and only an employer can get her one. I study biomedical science. My goal is that one day I will be able to collaborate with my fellow scholars to target important issues including HIV and AIDS prevention. Every year, Congress limits the number of new specialty visas. 20,000 are for hiring graduates like Wei Jen. 65,000 more can be used to import foreign workers when companies can't find enough skilled Americans.